Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a uh, review and commentary on episode 16 of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. Uh, episode number 16, Demon Lord Milam Attacks. And, um, you know, a little bit of time's passed since the last episode, Ramiru and, uh, you know, the crew, you know, since, uh, since uh, King uh, Gazelle uh, last visited and they had their uh, little powwow and agreement and uh, alliance. And um, sure enough, he comes back, you know, like uh, a little, little credit. You know, it, it don't show on the graphic. I couldn't catch that. But that uh, uh, I got a scene of it that, uh, you know, he more or less comes out like, wait, you just, you know, we just had a meeting the other day. Like, you're already back? You're like, yeah, yeah, I came to bring you... Um, Oh, what's his name? Uh, Vista, you know the the idiot scientist, uh, you know guy. <laughs> they more or less like, uh, you know, show up and like just throwing these guards, like throwing down. He's like in a bag, like you know, like he's a a dog or something. <laughs> like he's like, like it's a, a captured animal. Like what the heck? I mean, I mean, you can tell it was a human. But, like you were thinking, like why did they wrap him up? And like oh, okay, we see why. It's uh, it's Vista, you know, or. Is it Vista? Yeah, Vista, I guess, is his name. Um, although I think they say Vista in it, even though it's it's V-I-S-T-A when I looked it up. And that's like Vista. So anyway, whatever. Potato, potato. But he's got this, um, you know, like, the really funny look. And I was like, what? Me? You know, I mean, he's kind of repentive, you know. And uh, more or less, he, you know, long story short, you know, if you watched the episode, he, he, he you know, more or less, it's like, you know, he's, he's repentive. He's, he's no longer bad. And, and, you know, Ramiro actually cuts it, you know, does him really right. You know, he gives him his own little work area and then, you know, and, and more or less the, uh, gazelle, King Gazelle, he more or less realizes, yeah, he'd be better off, better serve working for you because, you know, he, he's trying some new concepts and new things that, um, you know, really, honestly, he, he really does fit have more of a fit with, uh, you know, uh, Ramiro and what he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to take, uh, you know, this world, like, in a new age, you know, and that's kind of what this guy wanted to do all along. Anyway, and, and by the way, while they're congratulating him for, you know, and, you know, King Gazelle's leaving, you know, and they're all, like, clapping and stuff in the crowd, and in the crowd, he spot, like, um, uh, oh, what are the, the lizardmen, um, uh, uh, Gabru and, uh, you know, all of his lizardmen, little, you know, henchmen and whatnot, and uh, they're all, like, clapping there. And, like, you know, like, Ramiro's like, what the heck are you doing here? <laughs> like, why are you here? It's like, oh, we came to join you, you know. And uh, I love how uh, Shiron, um, I, I love that scene when, uh, you know, uh, Shiron is like, you know, I will dispatch it. What is it she said? I can't remember the exact quote. It's like, you know, like, I'll deal with this. I'll dispatch him. I'll, I'll cut him. I think that's what she said. I'll cut him in two. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. But it's, it's hilarious. Wow, it's just, it's, it's just, it, I thought that was hilarious. And uh, I love his sister, you know, uh, which she's not really named at this point other than just the lizardman, Gabru's sister, you know, and she more or less says, I was not, you know, like, um, I wasn't kicked out of the, you know, the their kingdom, you know, like, I'm just here to join you because, you know, it's in good faith, you know, and I brought some people with me. So they all agree to join, uh, you know, Ramiru and, and, uh, you know, more or less, he, he uh, there's quite a few of them, and he decides to name them all, which, uh, you know, I, I love it when they go through everyone. I'll, I'll get some more uh, more on that in a minute because I'll I, I got to visually show you something. But uh, when uh, Gabru, you know, gets named, he just decides to you know instead of giving him a new name, just keep him with that name. And when he says it, he's kind of surprised. Like you know, he says his name. It's like wow, I can like overwrite names. Like, even though he had a name, he just rewrote over it. And he kind of, like, does this, like, Super Saiyan glow, like, oh, like a holy glow. <laughs> like, he mean, like, yeah, yeah Ramiro is like, whoa, like, wow, you, <laughs> like, I just named you, like, woof. Like, and uh, apparently when you name a uh, lizardman, sometimes they get more of a human feature, kind of similar to what happened to the ogres. They kind of take on, like, a uh, human characteristic. In this case, they literally become human-like because they, they, for a minute, I was, like, lost, like, who are they talking? Who are these people? And then as the scene kind of went along, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 it's them. Like, because I, I was, like, I was following along, but I was like, wait, who are they? Like, like, 
it was the other people and like oh that's the lizard man until they showed like uh what's his name's uh sister which uh evidently has been named uh nanso i think's her name yeah and it showed like a side by side like like sometimes you know they become uh what do you call them dragon wet dragon newts so when they um uh, you know level up they become dragon newts and they kind of take on a human form which i thought was pretty cool uh Moving on, I, I one of the things I love about this I've really been waiting on, and I've been seeing her in the credits, is uh, Milam, the Demon Lord. And we get to see a little bit more about the Demon Lords. And, um, you know, they're kind of just sitting around watching the, the previous episode's battle, you know. Uh, and, you know, kind of like, a, I guess it's like their little TV, <laughs> like a crystal ball, and I, like an old school, like literal crystal ball. I love that. That was pretty cool. But they're just like, you know, just sitting around. You think it would be a little bit bigger of a crystal ball, but, you know, like, it'd be, like, huge or something so they could all view it. But whatever, I guess. <laughs> um, it's just a, it's a nice effect to have the, you know, the traditional crystal ball. But I, I just think it would be, like, something like they could view it a little bit larger or something. But uh, anyway, speaking of which, you get to see uh, Milam kind of, you know, uh, I didn't know the character's name until this episode. Uh, I was kind of looking forward to her because I've been seeing her in the credits and I was like, kind of, uh, she looked like a really cool character and sure enough, she is. I, she's my new favorite character <laughs> after this episode. She's a little bit whiny and a, a little bit of a juvenile, you know, delinquent, like, uh, but she's, she's not really not bad. She's just kind of, a. Uh, all over the place. <laughs> and you can tell why there's a little bit why I like her. I, I like, in most animes, I like the pigtail characters. I, I really enjoy, that's one thing I like, it's women and, and young ladies with uh, pigtails. And now that's not anything perverted. It's just, I, I like that hairstyle. The the long, you know, pigtails. The almost un inhumanly long pigtails. You know, no other person can, just about, a woman can have these the hair long enough to have these pigtails. I, I like the anime has those, you know, but, uh, also she's like kind of a uh, scantily dressed. She's almost 85% naked on her behind. I mean, she's, uh, <laughs> all her clothing is pretty much doing is covering her naughty parts. I mean, it's, uh, you can clearly tell what her butt looks like. I mean, her, her butt is literally like almost 85% exposed. It's, uh, Kind of a kind of a cool you know clothing choice, but whatever. Uh, I guess that's what's cool with the demon lords. But I, uh, you know, she's sitting there, you know, like getting all like hyped up into the, like I said, the battle, and uh, she's more or less supposed to go meet you know Rimuru, and like I'm going off. Anybody care? You know, like, and look, every time she moves, she's literally like a naked character in this episode, <laughs> even though she's clothed, she's naked, <laughs> just about. So you know, it's like she's kind of cool, but. At the same time, like, she's totally impractically dressed, but I, I still like her character. Anyway, you know, she kind of, uh, you know, Ramiro is, like, kind of supervising everything that's going on. And all of a sudden, midway through, like, a conversation, he's like, whoa, I sense a, you know, somebody's approaching. And, like, sure enough, it's her. <laughs> like, she's like, boom, there in an instant. You know, and, like, she kind of shows up. Hey, I just wanted to come and say hi. And, like, and Ramiro's like, what? You just came to say hi? And they're like, yep, sure enough. You know, she's kind of just having a casual conversation. Like, you know, and, uh, he, he's kind of getting a little distressed because he's like, wow, like, uh, well, okay, you know, here you are, you know. <laughs> and then she's going on, like, you know, explaining a little bit about, you know, uh, by the way, yeah, that some of these shots are like, it, it's pure, uh, you know, just eye candy. But <laughs> I guess that's why I kind of like her, you know, it's just the... Uh, you can clearly tell that the artist drawing this anime clearly had fun drawing this character because I think Shinron and and and, uh, and, uh, and Milam is uh, two of the characters they really have a lot of fun with. <laughs> I guess that's why I like those two. And by the way, she I love the scene where she's poking him, like you know, like that, tap 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 tap, like you know, like is this your true form? And like asking, she's almost like a little kid, like asking you these little questions of. I don't know what her exact age is because I'm kind of taking it that she's young, even though she's a demon lord. You know, uh, she might be older than what her appearance is. They may age slower or whatever, but um, because they, they they reference later that she's like been around for a while and everybody kind of knows who she is and she's kind of kind of a legend al alongside her. But I, I think it's like the elves. I guess like even though she's young, she's still been around a long time. 
but she's still far younger than, you know, hasn't like uh, aged up like the rest of the Demon Lords. Uh, and kind of a prodigy, and even like uh, Ramiru kind of references this, and she's doing things like poking him, like oh, 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 oh. you know, she's she's like a little kid with like a million questions, like ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that, you know, like type thing. You know, she's explaining her power and everything, like you know, uh, completely at ease, like you know, like she she has nothing to worry about. She's just like you know, like jabber jabber jabber, like you know, explaining her powers, just talking casually. I thought I thought that was kind of cool. She's explaining that yeah, she could tell you know like oh clearly you know Ramiru you're the you're the strongest guy here, I can tell, because I can, uh, what do you call, look up the, her, uh, Milam eye, she can look up, uh, Magicals, uh, you know, how many, yeah, his power level and everything, clearly tell that he was the strongest one there, and, uh, I guess that's why she's not really threatened, because she can also tell that she's a level above him, and sure enough, he, you know, and she wants to see his human form, so, no, 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 I want to see the form, you know, the other form, and, you know, he kind of pops into his human form, and he, you know, it's like, she's like, you know, uh, you know, running around him, like looking at, Ooh, mm -hmm, that's better. You know, like, no, yeah, yeah. That's what I like almost confirming. Like, yeah, that's what you, Oh yeah. That's what you look like in that, you know, the little crystal ball video, <laughs> like, but you know, it's kind of hilarious. She's just running around and he's just got this little, like, what, what, what is wrong with you girl? <laughs> like, uh, I mean, she's just literally just checking him out, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, mm -hmm. okay, this, this, this will do, like, she's buying, like, a car or something, like, you know, or inspecting luggage or something, <laughs> it's, it's hilarious, uh, uh, well, sure enough, you know, the, the rest of the ogres and everything, and, uh, uh, Ranga show up, and everyone's just like, get out of here, you know, like, they think she's, like, there to kill him, you know, Ramiru, and they go into action. They don't even ask questions. And he's like, before he can even react, like, hey, guys, come down. Boop, boop. They, I mean, like, snatched out. And they're, like, going to battle mode. And on, she's clearly not threatened at all. I mean, she's, like, severely stronger than them. Um, it would be like, uh, it'd be like Batman trying to take on Superman. It was like, you know, like, pfft. Oh, please. You know, like, oh, you might scratch my uniform. Like, you know, I mean, she's just got that, like, you know, whatever attitude. And, you know, like I said, Ranga, you know, kind of takes him off. He's like, wait, you know, before he can even react, it's like, boom, they got him out of there. Well, sure enough, you know, like I said, you know, the ogres are clearly outclassed. I mean, there's, she's almost amused. Like, she's like, oh, you guys want to play? Like, <laughs> I thought it was an awesome shot. I love that, the, the fact that they do that in anime is that one-handed, like, sword catch thing. You know, like, the super-powered characters just like, ugh. You're like, you can't hurt me. I'll hurt you. And sure enough, she, like, puts a whooping on the, uh, the ogres and uh, everybody. I mean, she's, like, like I said, she's, like, she, she knows she's the 10-ton uh, gorilla in this fight. And, you know, they're kittens. They're they're nothing to her. And, um, you know, everything they throw at her, you know, and we've seen in previous, you know, uh, episodes of this anime that the ogres are not, you know, they're not weak at all. They're very, you know, A-class type fighters, and they have incredible fighting ability. And none of the things that they've done that have been effective in the past even doesn't even phase her at all. I mean, she's not even she's more or less just amused by the whole thing, you know, and just laughing at them. Everything they throw at her, she's just like, ah, like laughing, like, oh, this is great, like, like they're throwing at her a birthday party or something, like, like completely amused, not even offended, not even angered just completely amused and just uh, uh, laughing her ass off at everything they throw at her. Like Ramiru, you know, says, hey, guys, uh, step back. You know, he kind of heals him up a little bit. And now uh, he goes and has, you know, finishes his conversation with, uh, you know, uh, uh, Milam. And uh, by this point, she's already worked up. She's uh, obviously just came to say hi, but at this point, she wants to fight a little bit. You know, so Ramiru more or less like, all right, I'll give you a fight. But he, he quickly realizes that, you know, does kind of a scan and uh, analyzes her power and says, like, whoa, <laughs> she's way out of my class. I, there is no way I can win this but one way. And sure enough, he tries. I thought he was going to, like, do some kind of, like, like uh, concentrated, like, uh, you know, like Dragon Ball Z, like, I'm going to put all my power on, like, one punch thing or something, kind of knock her out maybe or something. I didn't think it was going to go that way. But I didn't see what 
what he does next coming. I, I thought that was pretty clever. I, I knew he was up to something. I just didn't know what. You know, judging by the glowing thing in his hand, I thought it was like some kind of like like concentrated power attack or something. Like he was going like uh you know like a uh, paralyzer or something or so, he had some kind of plan in mind that would kind of take her uh, strength away or something temporarily. But uh, he kind of did. It's just not the way I intended because like it looks like he's like punching her. At first, like, oh, bow! Like, he, like, knocked her face off and knocked her teeth into her brain or something. Uh, I'm thinking, like, well, maybe that's, that is what he did. You know, like, he just looked like, you know, I'll put all my, you know, power into, like, one punch and then I'll have the equivalent to take her out or something. But I, I didn't really see him, like, doing that because he really wouldn't want to rough fight her. So I, I didn't know what to, where they were going. And sure enough, it was something else. And as it turns out, he's put something in her mouth. And uh, she has that look like a girl would if you put something in her mouth. You know, it's like, what the hell did you just put in my mouth? <laughs> like, you know, she's, what the, what just happened? Like, you know, that surprise look, you know, in slow-mo, you get to see. Uh, and as we see, it's something good because it's like, uh, I thought it was like going to be candy or something. But uh, it was, it was just like uh, natural candy. It was just regular good old, you know, honeybee, uh, honeybee, uh, honey, you know, just, uh, he just gave me, gave her some, uh, you know, uh, honey and she's like, whoa, like her eyes are lighted. Like, Oh, the greatest, like you just gave a kid like this never hit candy, candy. I mean, that's the expression and look she has just like, Oh, like, they, like, where did you get that? Give me more. And, um, uh, I, I thought that was priceless. That was the funniest part of this anime this week. I, I thought that was awesome. And he's more or less like, oh, you know, hey, we could fight, but, you know, uh, be awfully good. You know, like, you know, kind of taunting her and like, like, and she pretty much submits and he wins the fight by honey. <laughs> he beat her with candy. Nature's candy. I, I thought that was pretty cool. But once again, he's, 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 uh, he's clever and, uh, he's not just a, you know, strong fighter. He's also clever and he outwitted her and, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, uh, you know, took took a, a battle that could have really went the other way and kind of made a friend, as it turns out. And they're more or less having a casual, casual conversation. She submits to him. And more or less, she's uh, talking about a conversation I thought was cool about, like, you know, in her opinion, Ramiro could be a demon king. He has a power level that he could be, you know, like, uh, the same equivalent as, like, her, you know, that group. And uh, she's more or less asking him. And they go into a conversation and... Uh, I, I'm I'm kind of guessing by the way they're going and something I've seen in the credits that there is something uh, she senses some power in Ramiru that he has not used yet. I'm just gathering that I can tell where the story's going. You can kind of tell that he's going to at some point, uh, you know, like power up, and I may have to. Obviously, I'll have to because uh, I'm I'm g gathering that a really big battle is coming and that he's going to have to level up really quickly. And uh, he has some latent power. He hasn't exposed, uh, he hasn't you accessed yet. Let's put it that way. I, I love the fact where she's just sitting there drinking candy, you know, drinking candy, drinking her honey, you know, like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and I look fast. She's like, you know, kind of squeezed him like, oh, let me see your village. Let me go see your village. And I'm like, Oh, okay. You know, like kind of submits him in to go in to see the village. You know, and uh, I also love the part where, uh, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Gabru kind of shows up, like, what's this brat doing here or something? Like, she, like, she, like, smacks the crap out of him. The guy, like, literally is, like, out. Like, bow! And, and knowing that, he's stupid because he does it again later. He is literally an idiot because, like, this time he quickly, uh, he, like, realizes, whoa, 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 like, you know, like, uh, what's this young lady doing here? And she kind of, like, uh Oh, I think it's here. Like, she, uh, no, I think she yells at him, like, I'm in a good mood, you know, like, uh, at first, like, I'm in a good mood, you know, like, you better address me by, you know, like, uh, properly. And, uh, sure enough, she, uh, she's strong. She looks beautiful, you know, looks like a, like a young lady, but she is, uh, she's ever a bit as dangerous as any enemy they faced, obviously. She has the power to back up the, the pompousness and on, uh, she deserves respect a little bit because she is like, a, you know, power deserves respect. You know? uh, by the way, like I said, the animators have had a lot of fun with this character. <laughs> and yes, it's one of the things I like about this anime. They have a lot of fun. 
And uh, obviously it turns out, like I mentioned before, that kind of, uh, you know, long story short, she gets uh, kind of abducted and wants to join the their group. And, uh, you know, me and, her, and uh, all of them, because she finds them fun. She, you know, I think she just basically wants honey, I guess. And just likes Ramiro. And generally she's just enchanted by him. And uh, Milam is pretty well known, you know, she's got like a reputation, like everyone more or less knows who she is. Like, like, you know, they're kind of okay and cool with her joining. And, uh, uh, you know, nobody has a problem with that. Uh, maybe it's the fact that she's half naked. I just like half naked people running around. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, but I, I love the part when, it, you know, she's holding, uh, Ramiro and she's like, are we besties? Are we besties? And like, she's screaming like, yeah, we're besties. Like <laughs> we're, we're besties. I don't know if that was like actually what was translated. I'm sure it was something different, but I just like the fact that they used we're besties. <laughs> I'm sure like probably when it's dubbed and when it's translated differently and many, you know, like many of these animes, like, you know, according to who's adapting it, who's translating it, it may change greatly what they say. But anyway, and evidently, there's other slimes because he, he he's uh kind of. By the way, he has no problem going into the men's uh, you know they he has no problem ex uh, letting uh, men and women go into it. It's obviously an open bath, you know. He's a slime, so he really I don't guess anybody cares. But obviously, they're women. The women characters are you know all like enjoying the uh, the uh, open air, you know, uh, not sauna. What do you call it? Hot spring that he has been built for him and by the way there's other little slimes there and uh i guess they kind of it's attracted them i guess or they never really explain i guess it's just uh maybe in the books they mentioned this i i've never read the book so i don't know but i i guess there's other slimes that hang around him i guess i don't know that's the first i've seen uh i just like the fact she's like oh this is great she's like loving the fact you know um uh, just hanging around ramiru and not you know it's like you know stuff that he's been built and then we finally get to see that, uh, you know, the ogres more or less let, you know, Ramiro let know that, you know, by, you know, more or less a forging an alliance and letting her, you know, into our group, you know, you just brought on a buttload of trouble. I mean, I know they're all like happy that she, you know, you know, got along with her, more or less, you know, forged an alliance with her and invited her in. But at the same time, they're like, you know, okay, you, you fixed one problem, but you created a far greater problem because now there's a lot of trouble we're going to be coming our way. You know, you automatically just started a war inadvertently and they're more or less letting you know, like, yeah, we're, we're about to have a lot of trouble. Uh, I mean, it's going to get, it's going to get serious uh, pretty quickly. And then more or less, you know, they hint into the next episode that, yeah, sure enough, things are going to get really serious. And I think the name of the next episode is episode 17, the gathering. And, uh, oh crap, I've been trying to keep these episodes short and I apologize because I've, I've been really gabby about this one because I, I really have enjoyed, uh, yeah, yeah. I've really enjoyed, um, uh, uh, Mila, man. <laughs> again, she's one of my favorite characters, but I've been, I, I've been extra chatty about this episode, but I, I was really, I really enjoyed this episode because I enjoyed that character. I look forward to seeing some more about her. You know, I've been, like I said, I've seen her in the credits and stuff, and I, I I knew she was coming. I didn't know anything about her, but I was really kind of looking forward to seeing her. And sure enough, she didn't disappoint. She's a really cool character. Uh, a little bit of a perverted character, but, you know, and uh, still a, a well-designed, pretty cool character that I like. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll, I'll do some review and commentary in the next episode when it comes out. Um, that's all for this episode. Like I said, this has run really long. I apologize. I don't really like to talk too long on these but oh well i've done it too long for this one anyway anyway that's all for now i'll catch you next time and please remember to like and subscribe if you already haven't all right catch you next time